protecting God's plant and your medication. If you are a medicinal or spiritual use, user of God's plant, cannabis, or marijuana, or reefer, or, well, I could keep going and going and going. You need to know, medication or not, you need to know how to protect it. Because if you have, if you have your medical um, license or you just use it spiritually, which is fine, um, which in another video I will explain what I mean by spiritually, um, you still need to protect it. Like, there's nothing wrong with sharing with a friend, um... Like, if, if you're a kid, like, I'm not saying share your medication. If it's your medication you get from the government of Canada, or wherever it's legal, if you're in the state where medical use is legal, do not share it. Let me make that actually perfectly clear. Do not share it, because they're very picky on that, um, and you don't want to lose your license and lose the right to use God's plant. Now, do I think that it's fair that you shouldn't have the uh, the right to share? Not necessarily, but I ain't losing my license for nobody. Um, but, I mean, if you end up telling your friends, like, or your fellow um, spiritual um, brother or sister that uses it, oh, yeah, I got my license now, and this is going to help my back, or this is going to help my appetite or whatever then you'll notice some people that aren't genuine will come out of the woodworks and they'll be like yo how's it going and then they'll drop you little hints or yeah i'm thinking to get my license or um another one that i've heard quite a bit is oh i could really use some of that because my back really hurts or is it you know what no no do not risk it. No, that's not to... I'm trying to walk a fine line here. Because if you're a spiritual user and you want to share with your brother and sister and they got their own license, like, I don't think... To make it 100% perfectly clear, what I'm trying to say is, if you are a spiritual user and you want to share with your brother and sister, and... Um, you choose to do that, that's your choice. But what I mean by that is, don't, like, hand them a gram or hear any of their sob stories and, like, give them a gram or something. But if, if you're a medical user and you got your medical card from whatever state or Canada, do not share, period, absolutely not. Do not do it at least until... Some laws are made 100% perfectly clear. Um, because you'll know, maybe I'm just slightly paranoid, but you'll notice with people, they tend to go, Oh, well, uh, yeah, come on, bro, come on, you know, or you know, like I understand, I want to get my license, but I don't know how it might affect me. Then don't don't listen to their sob stories. They want to find out. They find their doctor, or in this day and age, there's some clinics in Canada, uh, at least that if your doctor's not comfortable with you uh, getting the license from them, or they don't know enough about it, or they're not exactly sure and they want more studies, then they should. At least send you one of those clients and let make let that doctor make that choice. But the older doctors, it's a fine line because a lot of them will just go, no, no, no. This, is, you know, like, I trust medications because pharmacies know what they're talking about. <clears throat> and let me tell you, pharmacies, a big majority of them don't care. Look at that, uh, what was his name, Marco? No, 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 no. Rally or something, some billionaire that hiked up medication by ridiculous prices and just because he could. And he kept pleading the fifth with Congress. But, anyways, I'm getting off topic here. 
All I'm trying to say is protect your medications. Don't listen to anybody's sub stories. Don't give a shit about anybody's sub stories if you can help it. Like, yes, care for your brother and sister that might need it. Care for your fellow medical users that might need it but don't have their card yet. Pray for them. Offer them advice maybe on how to get their card responsibly. Um, But do not fall for any of the crap. Don't fall for the little punks that might say, you know, like, oh, talk to your doctor, double it, and maybe I can, like, pay you a little bit, blah, blah, blah. No, is it, is it going to be worth it when buddy, your, when buddy there, Jim Bob there, rips you off? No, it's not. So always protect yourself, keep your medication locked up, and don't listen to anybody's sub stories. Just pray for them. Give them an application from your dispensary. Or wherever you get it in whatever state you might be in. And leave it at that. Protect yourself. Lock it under lock and key on some bullshit code that nobody will know. And I'm just... I'm trying to walk a fine line here. Because I believe you should be able to smoke a joint with like... A spiritual brother or sister that uses... But at the same time... People are hard to trust nowadays. And if you one day can't do it. Who knows if they're going to be cheap asses and try to rat you out. You see what I'm saying, guys? So just keep it under lock and key. Lock it in a safe. And uh, just be honest with your doctor. And if your doctor doesn't want to do it, ask him if he knows of any dispensaries or clinics that will do it without him. And uh, just go about it any way you can.